Miss Nikki with Married Mom and Mogul. And I wanna share with you today my cloth and paper subscription box. I received this in April. And that means that it is for my June setup. So let's see if I'm correct. Yes, it's April and it will be for June. So this is, oh wait, it's different. Okay, so Cloth and Paper always sends us a little card letting us know everything that we got in the box. But I'm noticing already that there are also images of the things that are in the box. This is new. And I think I appreciate that as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's get to it. Cloth and Paper subscription box is $38 a month, and it comes jam-packed with all these goodies. One of the things that's always included is a really nice quote or something useful to put in your planner or like to hang up or something. If you follow me on Instagram, I will share a picture of where I keep these, where I hang these up at because I actually have a picture frame that allows me to change these out very easily. Okay, so this says, I learned a long time ago, the wisest thing I can do is be on my own side, Maya Angelou. So that is nice. I've never been disappointed with any of the things that I've gotten from cloth and paper. So let's see here, what is this? I can tell it's a dashboard and it's a paint texture dashboard. So it says our new dashboards are a breath of fresh air. Layer the Elysian dashboard on top of the paint texture dashboard for a beautiful visual. The house infographic dashboard. So let's see, let's get all these out. And I think that's what I'm looking at. Okay, let's do those. Okay, so yes. Paint texture dashboard, then the house infographic, nope, house infographic dashboard pairs nicely with your new inserts and our self-cultivation dashboard as the perfect pop of color to the collection. Okay, so we are suggested to layer this one on top. Oh yes, I see why. That's beautiful. And that's Elation, Elation. Beautiful or creative, divinely inspired, peaceful and perfect. Alexa. What is E L Y S I A N? The object of Elysian is usually the first. Elysian. So we got that right. Here you go. Alexa, stop. Okay, so what else do we have? Home refresh and renovation. So these are planning sheets in case you're doing some renovations. These inserts are the perfect tool for changing up your space and keeping all of your information in one place. And it's 18 pages. And there's a demo page in here. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if we have any big projects coming up but there's always something going on. We're always trying to brew something up. But we don't do a lot of DIYs. Well, let's see what we have. This looks like our calendars. Okay, so this whole pack is including all of our um, journaling cards. So we have our month view for June. Okay, let me do it like this. So here's our month view for June. And it's the matte 
No, this is considered the clear card. Here is the month view for June, our, our matte card, the matte card and the clear card. Okay, now the make art and the ashes. To make living itself an art, that is the goal. And now, after everything, you will not cave in. You are rising from the ashes. You are starting again. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, now these are nice. I have a slight obsession with sticky notes. And this is perfect. First, I'm loving the color. It's called Angora. I'm loving the color, how wide they are, and how it has this little pointed edge like an arrow. I'm loving that. I can see many ways that I'll be able to use these. I'm looking forward to showing you how I utilize those. So let's see. We also have, this looks like um, a regular notebook, a notepad. This is an Angora red notepad. I normally keep a notepad on my desk. Let me show you. So this is how my notepad usually is on my desk. I added one of these um, pin loops. It just has an adhesive on the back. I got a whole pack of them, maybe like 10, maybe a dozen from Amazon. And I just pretty much stick them on anything I need. And if I were to take this off, I'm sure that I would be able to just adhere it to the back of this one. So when I run out of these, I'm gonna go ahead and use those. That's excellent. They always send what we need. Okay, more page flags. Now, I'm thinking maybe every order or lately I've been getting page flags. And I just started using my page flags in my books. I still love to read books on actual pages and on paper pages. And this helps me to mark like different parts of the book where I want to like go back and refer like at, um, at a book club meeting or something like that. Or if I'm just wanting to go back and um, like jot down the quote or something, this is perfect for that. And let me take one of these off so you can see that it is a little transparent. Let me put it on the words. So you can see it's a little transparent. So I like those and it's 50 here. And that color is Cortado. I think this is the first time that I've gotten a pin in my kit. Now Cloth and Paper has another subscription a monthly subscription where they have a pen. I think it might be called Pen Inspiration, Pen Inspiration, something like that. And um, I've never really been interested. I typically use, um, I shouldn't say a random pen, <laughs> but I like these pretty pens with this little gem on the end. So I use a lot of these and I also use just a basic, this like marker pen. And I got these in a pack of 12 from Amazon. So I usually use that because I like how it writes. So let's see. Oh, okay. So let's see how it writes. Where's my notepad? So it always comes, most pens come with this protective edge. 
a little wax. So I like it, but it's supposed to be erasable and it is. I like. So, and you see how that is? It's the little clip that's actually controlling the pen. I may actually put this in my planner because I've actually been using a pencil. Okay. So that's everything in... Yep, that's everything in the box for the month. So we have our page flags, our sticky notes, our journal cards, our monthly calendars, which I always put a nice quote on the back of these. And here are our sheets for any home renovations and four dashboards but I'll probably layer these like they were suggested, so really like three. As well as this beautiful quote page as well. And don't forget the pen, which I do appreciate that because if they do have, or since they do have a pen um, subscription as well, I'm glad that they were able or they thought enough to send me one so that I can try it out to see if that's something that I would be interested in as well. So that is all for the box. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and set up my planner for May. Okay, so since this is my box that's really for June, but it's time for me to set up my May planner. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that now as well. Let's get to that. Okay, so here is the planner that I have been using for April. And I'll quickly flip through here and get to the next section because I'm actually going to leave it in this planner. I'll probably have it, well, I know I'm gonna have it for this month, which is all that really matters. And for May that is. Now this is the card that I decided to keep in my front pocket. I love this little window pocket here because I am able to put um, quotes and things here. So I, I really do love that. And I'm thinking I'm going to change that out. And I'm going to use one of the cards from a previous box. So I'll use this one. A fresh start isn't a new place, it's a new mindset. So I'll leave that there. I did say I'm gonna flip through first, but I think I'm just going to move right along. These pages up here are for, it's called the 2021 Overview but it's broken down by quarter. And I have started putting the birthdays for my friends and family that um, I need to remember. I put those in the, the little spaces here. And this I'm just gonna fill out as I go. Okay, this girl I love, so I'm gonna leave her. April. So 
So this is how I set up and decorated April. This dashboard came from my cloth and paper box for April. I put my sticky notes in my, these are sticky notes as well, but these are the transparent sticky notes that came last month. And I love these little circles. I think they are so helpful for quick notes. And then here I'll just flip through. This was just my Easter dinner note. Make happiness a priority to be and be gentle with yourself in the process. I started reading the book Yellow Wife by Sadiqa Johnson. If you have not read it, go get it. It was it was much better than I even thought. And I'm not big on books that occur like in the in slave times those stories are so emotional to me and it enrages me to be honest so i try to stay away from them but that one was so well written i loved it these are just some happy planner stickers that i basically use on a regular basis. If I remember what book they came from, I'll share it. I think it may have been this one. Yep, this is the one and it doesn't even have a name, but it's 1,829 stickers in this book. And there should be like some kind of a code or something since it's not named. It just says stickers. Here's one of my um, sticky notes that I use just to create a little tab for my goals. I keep some of my work goals in here so that I can refer to it when I'm starting my day. I first sit with my catch-all planner, which this is, and I'm able to see the things that I have to do for work so that I can plan my day accordingly. So that is the end of April. Here's where May began. So this is where I need to set up my May. But before I do that, I want to show you what I did in the rest of the planner. So here is my wave dashboard. I put a little tab here for cleanup. So this is my cleaning section. That water made me think of cleaning. And here is my divider for the meal plan. I'm not sure what inspired me here, but as you see, I went all in on the meal plan section. I love these stickers. These came from the, there's a meal planning sticker book that the Happy Planner has, and that's where all of these stickers came from. And here is where I plan my meals, and I have pre-cut these um, sheets. Now this here is a sticker as well that I just put on these half sheets. I cut the slits in it so that I can take this out and move it up front if I need to when I'm planning or preparing my day for cooking. And here's just some Sunday dinner ideas. Here is the Logophile um, dashboard. This is where I keep my book tracker. This is one of the reading logs that Cloth and Paper sent before in a previous box. Here's my girl boss or business section. It isn't where you came from, it's where you're going that counts. I keep my sticky notes here. I love these sticky notes with the little tabs on them. I'm really enjoying those. 
here is my um, April calendar. So I could take that out. I'm gonna replace that. And this is just, when I have orders, I use this dashboard, this dry erase dashboard from cloth and paper. And I got these magnetic dry erase markers. See this little magnet right there. And when I'm done with something, I can just erase it. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I'll try to link the um, link it below where I got that from, but it was Amazon. Here are my lists. I don't think I changed anything in this section. I'm looking forward to using this. I am planning on using this section, but I haven't used it yet. And this is my notes section. Own your own story. Again, from cloth and paper. And here's some journaling sheets with prompts that cloth and paper sent. Resolute. Here's a um, vellum dashboard. And I just have it covering my 2021 vision board for my planner. One day I'm going to actually go through this and show you all the details that I have in there. But not today. So let's go back up. Okay, so here's our month. This is where we start. So here is April. So May should go right here. Let me get some sheets. Okay, so for May, I'm going to cut some slits here so I don't have to keep opening up my rings. And let's start our week. Now I'm going to date these pages. I don't normally do the full setup on camera, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just knock it all out now. Okay, so I have dated the week view, but I don't have any more of the cloth and paper sheets. So I have added in a sheet from my Webster's pages. So since I've done that, this week ends on Friday. So I have to change the days here. So I'm just using my Tomball tape. And we'll just undo that. And I can put in the new days. Okay, so these day stickers came from Cla um, Coco Daisy. And they, I'm so glad that I held onto them because you see they came in handy. So I was able to use those for that. And I can't say that I really like how it looks, but since the days here are small and abbreviated, I did like that this was as well. So I'll get past that. And it'll also remind me that the month is coming to an end. So let's see. Next, let's do the month. So for my week view, I use the stickers, the date stickers from the Happy Planner. 
sticker book memory keeping and I'm going to use the same book to do the month view and these are much smaller so they'll be perfect for this area. Getting all this set up can be a bit tedious, but I can say it's so relaxing. Okay, so now all we have to do is fill it all in. I'm gonna use my April pages to get me started so I don't forget anything that needs to be recorded. First thing I like to mark are the holidays. I'll mark Cinco de Mayo, but it's actually my daddy's birthday, so I'm gonna leave a little space so I can put something there for that too. Alexa, when is Memorial Day this year? Memorial Day will be on Monday, May 31st, 2021. And Mother's Day should be Sunday the 9th. Alexa, when is Mother's Day? Mother's Day is six days away on Sunday the 9th. Okay, so we got that right. So I'll mark my dad's birthday with those balloons. And his sister's birthday is on the 27th of May. So I'm going to mark my aunt's birthday with this gift box. And my aunt and my cousin actually have the same birthday. So I'm going to mark my cousin's birthday I'm gonna mark her birthday with these balloons because my best friend's birthday is on the 20th and her birthday is on the 27th so this will help me mark both so we have all three of those birthdays right there I started my new book on the first I will mark that there. Groceries are picked up on Sunday the 2nd. I have, what is it called? Scentbird. I have a Scentbird subscription that renews on the 1st. So I'll mark that there. These came from my newest addiction. And these little books, I'm really not sure where they came from. This was off Etsy, I know. I'll try to link it below. I'm going to mark this with a doctor's appointment sticker, but I actually get my second vaccine from, what is it, Pfizer on this day.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill some of this in. Now for some decorative encouragement. I think I like this one. I came, I saw, I contoured. I think that's so cute. <laughs> In keeping with this pretty girl theme, I think I'll use this one. Okay, so my month is all set up, and now all I need to do is set up my first week of May. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick, and that will be enough for today. So first things first, we got our dates down. And here I usually put a, let me see if I have a to buy sticker. Here's to buy. And here I normally put Sunday dinner. My nails will get done on Tuesday. With this cloth and paper set up with the weekend being over here, I like to have one of these stickers to mark the weekend. Let's not forget this Sunday is Mother's Day. I'm gonna put this here for a grocery list, but I actually need to order the groceries so that's why i'm going to put that here so that will remind me to check the grocery list so i'll use one of these to mark my doctor's appointment on the fifth and 
I want to mark my dad's birthday again. Okay. Thursday night is my TV watching night. I watch Grey's Anatomy. I say Shondaland, but I'm not really a fan of Station 19. But I watch Shondaland, um, Grey's Anatomy. And I'm into the new Law and Order, Organized Crime, and Queen of the South also comes on Thursday nights. So I love all of those so i try to get everything done early so that i can have that night to kind of chill and relax i have been sticking to my workouts so i want to make sure that i keep a reminder here for that and since it's mother's day this weekend i think i want to Put this pretty girl in here. She is cute and thick. Let's see. I'll add her. These stickers are from Goldmine and Coco. I can't remember the She's named this doll. I can't remember her name, but I think she's so cute. And I know this weekend I'm supposed to be working on my blog. So I'm gonna put her there to remind me to do that. And later on, I'll go back in and fill in some details and stuff. These are just my reminders. Sometimes I do it the opposite way, write everything in and then encourage myself with the little stickers. These are so cute. Okay. So I think we're done. You have to pay Kindle. Let's mark that. Let's not forget. And this will remind me of some upcoming things. Okay, well, I think that is all for the month set up as well as for the week. I think that this is enough to kind of get me going. And I think now all I'll be doing is adding some of my journaling cards in here. And I should be done. So I want to thank you so much for joining me in the unboxing of my cloth and paper subscription box, as well as setting up my month view and my week view for the beginning of May. And until next time, I hope that you subscribe to this channel and like this video. And I will see you next time. Until then, remember to be beautiful because somebody's watching you.